Hello everybody, this is Michael from Village Island. I'll be showing you the decimator D4 and all its features. Thanks for watching. So what you see here is the web GUI. It's uh, enabling you to remote connect your decimator. It's based on HTML5 and therefore enabling installation and operation for your company network without weird dependency on third party protocol like Java. So simple and nice. So here I'm, I'm doing the logging. All right, and you are logged in. So about the user account level, by the way, if you go to dashboard, config uh, and user account, you can add various type of user. You see here, access level here, if you click, uh, you can select between admin, operator, viewer, which gives you various access rights. Okay, so let me go back to the main spectrum view and let me do the demo for you. So for this demo, I'm using an eight port RF input decimator. So if you go to system uh, switch port, you can select between any of the eight ports. And for this demo, on the port one, I'm using a terrestrial signal. And on the port two, I'm using a DVB-S2 signal. This is to show you the kind of flexibility you got with the decimator. So now I'm on port one. Let me analyze the signal here. So one very useful feature to analyze your RF signal is the overview. So here, let me click on overview full span. And here in the bottom, you get an overview of all the RF signal on your wide frequency band. So here you see this blue selection. You can drag it with your mouse to where you see there is a signal to measure, expand it. So this blue area got zoomed and displayed on your upper area. The spectrum analyzing shown here can actually be dragged by the mouse vertically to change your RF level reference or horizontally to shift your center frequency. So now from this situation, you can actually capture this view as overview one, for instance, and use this overview one to zoom. And so you can focus on, on what you want to see on. So I have a few signals here next to each other. So for instance, let me take this frequency here. This is the frequency of NHK. I need to set the span. It's, uh, this one is terrestrial, so it's six megahertz. Now you only see this NHK signal. In order to monitor the signal, we have a useful feature, which is called a carry monitor. So let me set a name for this test. And as a new measurement, I'm setting an HK. And you see that you have various monitoring items, so band power, presence of a carrier, EIRP, C over N, SNR, so, and here, for instance, I'm going to take the, power, the band power. I'm going to use the default minus 50 dBm, but put a tolerance of 20 dB on that. Okay. So you see on the left, I have this NHK channel added. And let me do the one just on the left. So it's NHK education, and I'm going to set this as a monitoring. You'll see why I do that in a moment. So here it's six megahertz. And like I just did before, can monitoring new measurement, put the name for it, NHK dash E. Right, band power is the same, 50. 150 dB and tolerance of 20 dB. You see how easy it is. And by the way, I, I forgot to explain about notification. Um, all the alarms that are generated by your decimator can be sent 
by email whenever there is a, a change in of state or as SNMP truck. Alright. So my second channel here is set. I have those two on the left. And actually I want to show you how you can do many channels. I'm just gonna do a third one. You'll see why in a moment. Next, very rapidly. So this one is on TV. Carry monitor, new measurement. Put the name to it. And let's say for this one, I just want to see the presence of a carrier, for instance. All right. And this notification is fine like that for this one. Okay. Good. So you see on the left. I got this three and it's going to E MTV and I click on the play button and you see it start a round robin, a rotation between all the channel to monitor. So this channel is shown also on its own turn on the, the top. Here it's green because there's no error, but you can imagine if, if you would lose a signal, it would turn red and you will have error reported in real time according to your error condition and notified by email or SNMP. Okay. So in regard to this carry monitor feature, you got this spectator option. So let me add all and you get now a simultaneous view of all your carry monitors. See? In a single view but you could have not only three but a hundred simultaneous carrier monitor together and in the spectator option there's many features but you get here this chart icon and this inspection mode it's very nice what you can do with this inspection mode it enables you to come back in time and check what was the status of a carrier at a specific time. So if I play here, you see, it's replaying for you the carrier spectrum as it was received at that time. Very nice to investigate back what happened to your carrier. So I was showing all this feature with terrestrial signals and we have just this terrestrial customer using it this way. But let me go to satellite signal analysis. So I'm, I'm gonna go to the port two for that. I see more advanced and exciting feature. So I go to full span of overview, and we've inserted here for this test a DVBS two modulated signal here for testing purpose. So let me zoom on it. I'm just taking it out. So, by the way, we've created this signal locally using a local generator, but it could be any feed, any live DVB-S, S2, S2X feed. So, in the default decimator, what's new is that you got this demodulator feature. So, let me go to dashboard, signal analyzer. Let me set the central frequency as 965 megahertz. okay. The modulation is... DVBS2, QPS K1 over 3, and symbol rate is um, 27.5, all right, and frame length is short. All right, so I've set the condition parameter, let's start the play button, and you see on the left the constellation analyzed. And on the bottom right, you'll see a graph for SNR, but you can add frequency offset, symbol rate, etc. You get all those graphs generated simultaneously. So this is for DVBS S2 and S2X signal. Alright, so there was for a single satellite signal, but like we did for the spectator, we have this detector option to enable multi-channel simultaneous viewing. 
All right. So going back to the D4 uh, main spectrum view, so you get the various features like, okay, of course, frequency, uh, span setting, amplitude. Uh, on, in the measurement part, you get this hold, min max hold function, and you can see the dynamic of your signal. All right. So what else? Uh, here with this state button, you can do a capture of your measurement settings. You can imagine all the detail settings that it would just remember for you. So you can add markers, you can move them easily by dragging your mouse. Um, and then one unique feature is the cross polarization. Thanks to that cross pol, you can show multiple signals overlaid on each other. So for this demo, I don't have the similar signals on, on both input, but let me use uh, the port one and two and compare them to each other. And, and you see here, they are overlaid on each other. So you can compare how, you can compare the power level between the two. All right. A final uh, original feature of the decimator is the waterfall view. So you see that signal I'm analyzing here. If you turn it to the waterfall view, you have in X axis the frequency and Y axis the time passing by. And so you can appreciate the signal level through this color diagram with blue for the weak, the weak signals and yellow, then red for the high levels. Thanks to that, with a single look, you can uh, get a rapid feeling on a spectrum that could be wide. So as you can see, there are plenty of features. We could go more into details, uh, but uh, I think for this fine for first demo. So feel free to come. Feel free to come to us for any specific question. Thank you. Have a great day.